Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know I'm not filming in a cemetery today and that's because I have about 10 video ideas that I want to do in cemeteries that I want to film. And even though today is the third, I feel extremely overwhelmed with the amount of videos I want to make. And plus by the time I leave work and come back home it will be dark and the cemetery will be shut so i just wanted to get this video out there and you know just to have it up on my channel and of course boris is here with me because he's in my room he just wanted to say hi so this is a continuation of my um series that i did last year called what's lurking in the dark where i go through the horror tube anthology called lurking in the dark and review all the stories separately and give all the authors slash channels slash whoever martians from another planet some recognition about their work so this is a follow-up for that whole series because i want to finish this horror tube anthology this month so the story that I am going to be talking about today is called Bad Moon Rising by Amy McCaw. Now Amy is probably the most well-known author that I have come across in this whole collection that I don't really follow. I'm not subscribed to her, but I am aware about her. She does have a YouTube channel, which I will have linked down below. Haven't watched too many of her stuff, maybe I should. But I know that she's really well known for her Mina and the Undead and Mina and the Slayers book, which is a duology right now, but it might, it might be a series. And she's also in another anthology collection, which, it, which um, is published. Every time I've come across her work, I always think, well, let me just read Bad Moon Rising first and get a flavour and see what I think before I pick up probably Mina and the Undead. I, I After this, I will probably go and pick it up. Not in any mad rush to, but I will probably pick it up because I found it relatively cheap and I will probably give it a, and I will give it a go and see what I think. I'm not expecting to be absolutely mind blown, but I mean, in, I'm intrigued. So I will have Amy's channel linked down below, as you know, as always. So Bad Moon Rising focuses around this movie, this horror movie that is being shot at a cemetery. As far as I can tell, it's in the country set. It's in the country setting, and they are um, filming this werewolf movie. The main character is being fitted or glued into this extensive um werewolf um outfit where they have all the claws glued to the hands the mask the whole outfit they have cornered off the or actually taped off the cemetery to stop like people from the town or the community or the village or whatever coming in and disrupting the shoots and throughout the book there is all this like like gossip I would say or banter probably gossip about what's happens or is happening with um, other cast members and crew members and relationships are always being brought up and all that stuff it was kind of slow for me I didn't really care for that much about the book or, or, or the um, story in this case 
But as the book goes on, we discover that the town has had trouble with wolf sightings, wolf attacks. And this leads to an attack on the film crew by a group of werewolves. At first, it's not really uh, clear whether it's just one werewolf or several were uh, were werewolves. And the attack is fine. It's not overly gory and bloody because even though I haven't read of um even though I haven't read much of Amy's work, I know that she is a YA author. And it's, and my experience with YA authors, there's nothing wrong with them, but my experiences with, with them is that they don't go that deep into describing violent scenes. You know, Blood, guts, gore, and all that stuff, you know. People having their arms ripped off and blood and guts gushing out of someone's body. They don't really go into that much in detail. They only give you, you know, like the bare minimum of what's happened. Which is, again, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, I was satisfied with the book. It was okay and the ending was fine. But my overall impressions was just that it was simply a okay werewolf story. If I had to judge Amy's writing on this one short story, which is about 13, 15 pages long, I feel that that wouldn't really necessarily be fair. But if I had to, I wouldn't really be in a mad rush, if any rush whatsoever, to go out and read that other stuff. But because I know that it is somewhat popular Hermina series, then I'm more inclined to give her a try in that regard. But when it comes to just focusing on her story, Bad Moon Rising, it was okay. The characters were okay, the gore was okay. The overall story about werewolves was okay. There was nothing in there that was groundbreaking. There was, there was nothing in there that made me think, right, I'm hooked on werewolf stories now. I mean, were werewolves, I mean, they're, they're actually cool enough as it is. I mean, there's enough said. But, yeah, it didn't grip me as much as I wanted. And I suppose that's fine. That's fine. Uh, as, as I've always, well, as I've sometimes said, rather, it's sometimes, it is usually difficult to judge an a, um, author, especially if they're new to you, by just one or several short stories you need to get well i personally need to get a whole novel out of them before i can judge their work more coherently or properly so that has been my somewhat short review or discussion or whatever you want to call it of bad moon rising by amy mccaw from the horror tube anthology lurking in the dark so hopefully you enjoyed it I am going to be continuing on with this anthology and going through all these stories one by one. And I will be filming some of them in cemeteries. It's just that I felt extremely overwhelmed with the amount of videos I need to make. And I just, I mean, what I discovered from last night is that it's getting dark here a lot sooner. So, um, yeah. I can't really film after work because the cemetery shuts at, well, when it gets dark. So, yeah. So, some so some of these videos I am going to have to film at home to try to take some of this burden off all these videos that I want to release during this month. So, yeah. I better let you go, guys. So, let me know if this is, was interesting to you. Let me know if you are interested in reading the um, Looking in the Dark anthology. I know it's about one year old now, but I want to finish it because it's been on my Goodreads account for one month. Oh, no, one month. One, one year, rather. And I just want to read all these wonderful stories. Some of them are better than others for this whole month. So with all that out the way, I'll see you on my next video.